everybody, my name is Eileen and welcome to Musical Mondays. Hello! Thanks for joining me again. If you're new to this series, each week I'll teach you a new musical, a song from that musical, and maybe some choreography. Then you can practice what I teach you and film a video of yourself performing our musical of the week and then share it with us. We can't wait to see how you make each week your own. And do you remember what my class rule is? That's right, try. Each week, I'll be teaching you something new. So each week, we're learning something new. Just try your best and don't give up. Now it's time for our musical of the week. Now, this show is based off a book just like Susical was last week. And you might know it because we did it at Playhouse a few years ago. It's a beautiful musical with a little bit of magic and a story that never ends. It's called Tuck Everlasting. The musical is based off a book of the same name written by Natalie Babbitt. There's also a movie based off the book starring Alexis Bledel. Did you know the movie has a different ending than the musical and the book? Tuck Everlasting opened on Broadway in April 2016, but closed in May after only 39 performances. Even though it had such a short life on Broadway, it has continued its eternal life in the houses of many regional theaters. This week, we get to see a familiar face. Andrew Keenan Bolger plays Jesse Tuck. Now, when did we last see Andrew? That's right. Last week, we learned that Andrew was the original Jojo in Susical. All grown up and Andrew Keenan Bolger is still playing a kid. This musical also features Sarah Charles Lewis, who was only 12 in this her Broadway debut. So as you may have noticed, all of our musicals so far have featured kids and teens. So if you're looking for some good audition material or performance material, research the last three weeks. Tuck Everlasting tells the story of a family, the Tucks, who drink from a spring and gain everlasting life. Jesse Tuck, one of the sons, meets Winnie Foster, a girl who longs for a life beyond her garden wall and offers her the secret to eternal life. Winnie then spends the rest of the musical having to decide between living an eternal life or living her own regular life. This musical is about friendship, loss, love, and family. Today's song, however, is sung by one of our supporting characters, Hugo. Hugo is a young, plucky detective who is helping solve the case of where Winnie has gone. Our song today will include lessons about breathing and acting. But first, let's learn the lyrics. Big day, first case. Girl's gone, no trace. Small town, no crime. Now tree gaps hit the big time. What's this? Fresh tracks. Who's there? Relax. Footprints, size nine. A clue, yahoo, nope. Those are mine. No dirty deed goes exactly as planned. Look, that's what it says in my deputy's handbook. Even the best crook leaves you a clue. Big day, first case, girl's gone, no trace. Hugo, you know what to do. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> so this week, I wanna try those lyrics again as a monologue. Remember, a monologue is just a long speech spoken by one character. Now. Before we start, let's ask ourselves a few questions about our character. Like, who are we? Well, 
we're Hugo, a young detective. And what's just happened to us? Well, Winnie Foster has disappeared and we finally have our first case. Um, how do we feel about that? Well, probably nervous and also excited. It's our first case. And what do we want? Well, we want to solve our first case and we want to find Winnie Foster. Now, with those character details in mind, let's try the lyrics as a monologue, okay? Big day, <laughs> first case. Oh, girl's gone, no trace. Small town, no crime. Now tree gaps hit the big time. What's this? Fresh tracks? Who's there? Oh. Relax. Oh. Footprints size nine. A clue. Yahoo! Oh, those are mine. <laughs> No dirty deed goes exactly as planned. Look, that's what it says in my deputy's handbook. Even the best crook leaves you a clue. Big day, first case, girl's gone, no trace. Hugo, you know what to do. <laughs> Very good. So you see how Hugo goes through a lot of emotions in one short period of time? Well. To help us with this, we need to think on the line. And what that means is we need to think while we're saying words instead of thinking before or after them. So when we did the song as a monologue, we had a lot of time to do whatever we wanted and take as many pauses as we wanted. But you'll notice when we learned the melody of the song that there's not as much time. So let's learn that melody and see what I mean. First case, girls gone, no trace, small town, no crime, now tree gaps hit the big time, what's this, fresh tracks, who's there, relax, footprints, size nine, a clue, yahoo, wait, those are mine, no dirty deed goes exactly as planned, look, that's what it says in my deputy's handbook, even the best crook a clue. Big day, first case, girls gone, no trace, Hugo. You know what to do. Very good. Now, you'll notice that there wasn't a lot of time for thinking before or after a phrase. So when we have the whole section about the footprints, for example, we say footprints, What's this? Fresh tracks? We're questioning. What is that? And then we get scared. <gasps> Who's there? Calming ourselves down. <sighs> Relax. We examine our clue. Footprints. What size are they? Size nine. A clue. We celebrate. Yahoo! Wait. Those are mine. So we're disappointed again. And Hugo does this all throughout the song. He's going through a lot of emotions. You'll also notice while I was singing the song that time, I didn't stay in neutral position the entire time. Do we remember what neutral position is? It's when we stand with our feet shoulder width apart and our shoulders slightly rolled back so that we have a clear open passageway for breathing. Now, when you tell a story to your friends at home, do you stand in neutral position and not move your face and arms and body at all? Of course not, that would be weird. You use your big, expressive body and face to tell the story. And last week we worked on our faces, but this week I want you to feel encouraged to use your whole body. You can move around the space. The important thing to remember is to always leave yourself an open breathing passageway so that you can support yourself while singing. Because we remember from the first week that we need nice deep breaths so that we can fully use our entire apparatus to sing, either longer or louder or just healthier. So this week, when you are practicing our musical of the week, let's see what your big expressive bodies and faces do as you portray Hugo from Tuck Everlasting, okay? That's all the time we have for this Musical Monday. Try incorporating your big expressive bodies and faces into this week's song.
Also, don't forget your good breathing techniques. <laughs> See you next week.